As sneakerheads, we all have the same issue, and it's this. Storing and displaying our ungodly amount of shoes. Now, I've actually had this pile of shoes just sitting in my room for the past few weeks, and I finally got fed up. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always wanted that aesthetic sneakerhead room with the shelves and the lights just displaying your sneakers. And that's why I decided to get this. I'll be honest, I have no idea how I do it. It just shocks me every time. Oh. This is a Sneaker Throne 2.0. Let's unbox it. All right, y'all, so this is everything that came in the box all laid out, so now I just gotta build it. All right guys, so status update, it's the next day. I ended up needing to take a break because I just was getting tired. This is the first time I've ever put together a piece of furniture, so having a little bit of difficulty. And I gotta be honest, some of the materials included were really cheap quality. There's a little defect in the wood here. It's not too big of a deal, but it is annoying. And then these things were a complete pain. They weren't, they didn't fit right, and I ended up breaking two of them on accident. But this is what it looks like so far, and I'm pretty happy. All I gotta do is put in the little doorknobs. And then the last thing will be just installing the lights and putting my shoes in. All right guys, moment of truth. <sighs> Let's go! Oh my God, that looks sick. And there we go, that's the sneaker throne all set up. It only took five hours. I partly blame that on myself though. This was my first time making a piece of furniture, but I do think I will get another one eventually. As you can see, I got that ugly little outlet over there, but you can't really see it from the other angle. I'm gonna just have to bear with it for a little while. That's not a big deal. But overall, I love how it looks. I think it presents the sneakers really nicely and you get this cool little remote. Now to quickly talk about the pros and cons of this product, I would say a big con is that the materials that they include in the packaging is very cheap quality. I ended up breaking a few screws just trying to do it normally. And the cheapness of some of those pieces ended up making the whole process a little bit harder. But once you get past that, I think you end up with a pretty solid product. I would say another small con is the price. These do retail for 180, 
but there's always a discount code at Sneaker Throne going on. Usually they have a 10% off discount. And right now they're having a 20% off Soulmate discount for Valentine's Day. So you'll be getting this product for 20% off, which I think is a pretty good deal. I think I will be buying more eventually. I think the next thing I want to get is those boxes with the drop sides and then put them on each side. I think that would look really cool too. But then of course the pros, I think it looks really nice. It's very presentable. The lighting system is very cool. I'm really happy with the LEDs. And you just don't have that many products out there that are similar to this. I think this is one of a kind. You could of course get a boring old shoe rack and just put it in the middle of your room or by your door. But I think it does your shoes justice to have it displayed like this with the lights on. And it's just a really cool setup. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing the sneaker throne for yourselves, I do have an affiliate link in the description. Again, I try to give you guys as honest of a review as possible. I'm not sponsored to make this video at all. I genuinely wanted to give you guys my impressions of the sneaker throne. And I think this will make a great addition to your sneaker room or your bedroom or wherever you store your shoes. That's gonna wrap up my review of the sneaker throne 2.0. If you guys enjoyed the video and you've watched it up to this point, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really helps me out and it allows me to continue making videos for you guys. But yeah, man, with all that being said, remember a blessed day and stay clacking. Peace.